What if you don't have a car and your nearest store is over a mile away? Sound familiar? Well, that's what's happening in the Pennsylvania area of Exeter. That could provide some food for thought. Sylvania Community Stores and Cafe opened in July of 2021 after a group of local residents got together and decided to make something special happen. Hi, my name's Deb and I'm one of the managers at Sylvania Community Stores. There's two of us that are paid here, but the rest of the people who work here are all volunteers. So we rely on volunteers and we couldn't do it without them. <laughs> I think it makes a difference to people having someone like this to come to and yeah, to come in the morning and read a newspaper if you want to, have a coffee and a cake, meet people. Uh, there's a lot of clubs and activities that take place here. It, it is very much a centre, one of the centres of the community that we have. People need that. There is no pub, there is no church, there is no, no other shop, so it's become the heart of the estate, I'd say. They can come here and meet up and, and, and chill out. It's, it's lovely and there's so much for everyone. There's, you know, there's books, there's sensory room, there's the, there's the different workshops that go on. In the committee that runs it, it's always open to suggestions of how it can evolve and how people can shape what, what's, what comes next. doing crafts and, and, and that's lovely because people bring along things they're working on, they share tips of how they can do things yeah. and all we'll learn from each other. We do. So we um, I'm going to sign the end of it. Hi, my name's Catherine Wilcock and on a Thursday morning I run a craft club. You can either bring a craft along uh, if you're working on some cross stitch or knitting or paper craft, whatever you like really. We've got some children that come in from homeschooling. And if you're struggling with a project that I might be able to help you with, or I might know somebody that does, or lots of things to craft and make. So come along! <laughs> it's the volunteers that keep the shop running, and there's a variety of different jobs to be done. It's very flexible, they can do as much or as little as they want. People can come and have a special job, things like going to bookers for us, doing the papers in the morning, sort out the books, or stock shelves, or you can work behind the till, or you can have barista training if you would like to learn how to make coffee. Our coffee comes from the lovely folks at X Coffee Roasters. My name's Jeff, setting up in the morning is quite good, checking all the shelves are full, getting the pasties on and everything, yeah. It's nice in the morning, get the smell of hot pasties and croissants cooking, so that's good. And it's not a huge commitment, but it's just a very nice thing to do and we met some really nice people, it's good. I'm Julia, um, and I've been coming into the shop for quite a long time now, and mainly on a Saturday morning, because we have a job to do, which is to come in early and do the papers, which is great having a role, being given a role, showing how, showing how to do it, and can just get on with it. Being a volunteer is a real bonus for us, and it's a good way of getting to know your neighbours, it's a good way of, um, you know, just knowing the area and knowing who's around and what's happening, and I like it that there's all sorts of different things here as well. People can actually volunteer, they can get involved in community, they can actually get to know each other in a very natural and organic way. So this is Karen, who's just around the road, and this is Christine, and that's Nicole. So they're all local, all local people, we call this. Yeah. Sourdough comes from Super Street Bakehouse, and that is delivered twice a week, so this is still warm, it's just come on now. The bread comes from Harding's Bakery, um, and they live just around the road, but the bakery is in Alpington. We have chutney that comes from Jess, who is literally just around the corner, and we have honey from my sister, which is just up the road. People are busy, people live busy lives. And so anything that makes a greater sense of community is a good thing because we do need each other. It's just somewhere nice to be able to come in. Just to sit, even if you've got a glass of water, and just to speak to somebody. There's always somebody in here. As a community builder, it's given me you know, so much opportunity to 
to um, have a space to share ideas and to you know, advance conversations with other people as well. I've, I've had many a conversation here with people that say now they've got somewhere to go, they, they, they've made new friends, they, they know people that live on the estate, which is fantastic. Uh, so, not just a shop. <laughs> When I heard it was starting up, I was really excited to see what happened. And I heard mutterings about, oh, it's going to be a shop. And I thought, oh, I hope it's somewhere that the kids can come and play as well. And we granted, like it is. And then to be able to get involved in things now, I've got a little bit of free time as well. It's really, yeah, it's really lovely. I used to be an early years teacher, so I sort of have a back catalogue of ideas and things that might work. Okay, so I'm Esme, and this is Martha. It's such a nice place where everybody's so welcome. Yeah, we really enjoy coming here. Hi, my name is Kay, and I have made this pretty picture for the kids' playroom. My favourite thing about the community store is a community feeling. And it's very nice. I think it's a huge benefit to the, to the community. Um, you can tell that by the people that come in, the comments that you get, the people that are so pleased that the shop has reopened after being closed for such a long time. I think the social aspect, particularly after all the lockdowns and the COVID problems, is very important to people. Have a flat jack, that's good for you. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. People aged 14 to 16 can volunteer with us for their Duke of Edinburgh award. I think that um, volunteering here brings the community together. Volunteers are trained in whatever jobs they want to do and are supported all the way. They don't have to have a set day, they can just pop themselves on the rotor whenever they want. So you don't have to commit to a certain day or a certain time, and any time that you can give will help us massively. If you're thinking of volunteering but you're not sure, be brave like me, come down, have a coffee and a piece of cake, Deb will chat to you and all your fears will go and you'll find that it's a really good thing to do. Come on, have a coffee and a chat, that would be lovely. Look forward to seeing you soon. Get a community together. It's important, I think. Am I in the way? <laughs>